hey guys uh, it's me um, so in my last video um, I showed you guys how I do this um, splatter effect um, and it turned out really cool um, but I also mentioned that um, you know mistakes happen and you can correct them and then I realized I, I probably didn't make it clear what I meant by like how you can correct them so I just wanted to show you guys a couple tricks um, my main tools here are 005 micron pens and jet pens with a variety of life left in them. Um, jet pens are from Japan. It's like something between a micron and a brush pen. There's kind of like a little marker tipness to it. Um, and the reason why I use these is because um, the tip of micron pens is so small that if you try to use it to make corrections over this like texture, you just wreck the hell out of the pen. Um, I also use um, white gel pens to make corrections. Um, so the thing I wanted to correct here is, um, I know it's a little hard to see, but um, I feel like Spooky's face got a uh, load out real bad here and uh, I don't like that because now he's like fading into the background when he should be in the foreground um, so what I'm gonna do here is uh, this particular uh, jet pen has uh, um, dried out pretty badly so I mark it with some tape to mean like this thing is on its deathbed um, but it's good because not only do I not have to care about the tip getting ruined um, but also it it will not go down completely black so like some of the spots will still be there or like show through there's like not as white though um, and that way you don't end up with like weird black lines where people can like see exactly where you made corrections um, so yeah like right here I'm just lightly going back over this because like I said I want his face to stand out um, and right now it's being faded out really badly. I want it framed. So as you can see, like it's it's subtle, um, but I think it's it helps a lot to just like bring back these details after you've done this glow effect. Um, you can see right there, like. A little bit of black gone on that white spot that texture was was like too extreme and that's that's when this comes into play because now I can just go back over that spot and just be like no how dare you and now it's white again um, so yeah I uh I don't just like do the splatter thing and then and then be like oh look we're done like it's it's a multi-part process um, of covering up a lot of details on accident, it's unavoidable, and then bringing them back. Um, in some cases, if something just looks wrong still after it's scanned, like I'll digitally correct it, um, but I'd, I'd rather not um, if I can avoid it, because I just think it looks more organic this way. Um, I'm going to leave that there. Um, but yeah, I think that that should just about do it for Spooky's face. I think that looks pretty good. Yeah. Yeah, okay. So anyways, yeah. Basically, this is just a long-winded way of, of me explaining that uh, I screw up constantly. And uh, doing um, the splatter thing is uh, a hectic mess and you can't really control it um but that's okay don't freak out you can fix things later uh whatever tool works um so yeah uh i hope that that was uh, helpful <laughs> um and also just you, know, you can see the the full cover here it turned out pretty cool i'm very excited so anyways i'm gonna just do a little bit more correcting but uh yeah we're about ready to scan hope you guys like it <laughs> bye